Hi everyone, uh, I'm here, uh, Nuryati Rafida Abdul Rahim, and my team members, Dr. Mohd Nizam Awang and Dr. Nuray Lis Abdul Wahab. We will present to you the case study about Cadbury. It's about halal uh, issues uh, in, with Cadbury. So the topic of this case is my phone is not your phone. The case study shows the experience of Cadbury Malaysian in dealing with the rumor of porcelain tin on its two chocolate products after a copy of an official test report made by Malaysian's Health Ministry went viral on social media sites. It's leaving the impression that Cadbury chocolate may not be halal. In response to that, Cadbury stated on its Facebook page that it was aware that uh, uh, the rumor has been emphasizing on its position that all its chocolates manufactured in Malaysia are halal certified by Jakim. So, on the next day of 24th of uh, May 9, 2014, the Health Ministry confirmed that the samples tested were positive for porcine DNA. So, Jakim suspended the halal certificate for the two products pending further investigation. Cadbury immediately recalled them from the shelves and stressed that no other Cadbury chocolates are affected by the test. It means that only these two, uh, two batches. So the company's effort to make confirmation and recall announcement on Facebook and other social media sites did little to slow the issue. So in fact, it was bombarded with thousands of responses overwhelmingly inflammatory and adversely damaging the company reputation. Over 20 Muslim non-governmental organizations called for boycott against the brand. The escalating comments included accusations of cabaret being misusing of the Muslim consumer's trust and confidence over the brands as halal products. Some expressed huge frustration over the failure of the company to maintain its products are halal throughout the supply chain from selection of raw materials to packaging and distribution. Others went further by threatening to take a legal action for misusing its halal certificate and belittling the Islamic faith in Malaysia. Within 10 days of the uproar, the British multinational has lost approximately 37 million ringgit Malaysia in the wake of spreading uh, criticism against Cadbury in Malaysia and abroad. Cadbury's head of corporate and government affairs issued a rather strategic statement explaining the company closely engaged with the authorities to facilitate the investigation on this issue and assure that the public of the company's commitment to halal regulatory guidelines and the highest level of safety and quality of its product. This case reveals the need for affected uh, for effective organization to communicate with stakeholders, particularly in the face of mounting crisis communication. As the crisis germinates, it gives us lesson on how these crisis managers should endeavor to match strategic crisis responses to the threat posed by a crisis. As far as this case is concerned, there were challenges that Cadbury had to face within the 10 days of the issues. So beginning with, uh, with the viral on, uh, I was informed it was through WhatsApp. So on the first day where Raja Zalina had to measure and decide on how this uh, uh, the the trust how the trust should be regained um, among the consumers so the first thing they did is to 
a big announcement through the Facebook that the product recalls is was happening, then only for these two batches, by with the hopes that the uh, the Muslim consumers especially believe that Cadbury is taking uh, was taking full responsible towards this, so. As the reputation um, going down and then the losses, the trust is also uh, included. And Cadbury as is a worldwide brand, they, they did not worry too much on the closure of if they have to shut down the factory if they have to somehow the market yeah, was uh, going down due to muslims numbers around the world so in order to solve this raja zalina made very efficient steps uh, in dealing especially with publics and then with the Ministry of Health and then Jakim. Ja- they, uh, they, they, give, they give every support to Jakim for the investigation um, but the fact that actually the certification was valid at the time and they have no worries at all about the misuse uh, of the even for the products or any other um, problems uh, throughout the halal supply chain so the unethical use of social media was one of the uh, causes that they need to solve when every mean every organization should be very careful when they want to spread this kind of information secondly raja zalina made very effective communication being very calm being very rational become very um objective towards the issues yeah she brought the issues very well into the discussions and in fact the Cadbury never even once appear appeared in the public for any announcement where at the end the uh, Jakim actually announced that uh, there is that there was no uh, ha- uh, haram or any doubtful uh, elements of pork DNA in in the product uh, manufactured by uh, Cadbury, S- somehow the the reputation must be solved. The reputation must be fixed, and Raja Zalina, um, and even until now, she never stopped doing that to make sure that our Muslim consumers are protected and they can eat the chocolates without any hesitance. On 29th of May 2014, National Council for Malaysian Islamic Affairs uh, National Fatwa Committee confirmed that the alleged products are halal for public consumption as they have been produced through stringent manufacturing processes and using clean and halal ingredients. In cases where halal products are tainted with porcine DNA, this was beyond the scope of control and difficulty to avoid. There are other actually causes uh, such as um for tourist tourists among tourists when they brought back those chocolates those foods from other countries to malaysia so similar fatwa was issued earlier on october 2011 jakim worked very hard in explaining about the issue on 2nd june of 2014 jakim released an official test result that conclusively shown that the two affected batches of chocolate are halal 
we would like to thank you for your time and for your attention given to our presentation to our case study um, inshallah we will be meeting again thank you so much assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh